Just got to an awesome new spot in Rangaroa. The water clarity here is just ridiculous because the water from the ocean flows in right there and comes through here, replaces it constantly. But I've been fighting off a little bit of a rapid weight loss program these last couple days. Um, I don't know where I got it. Maybe raw fish I ate, maybe bad water. No idea, it doesn't matter, it's over now. I'm gonna hop in the dinghy and go see what I can see. Current here is ripping. All right, not sure if it's a good idea at all, actually, but I'm going to jump in right here and just drift down this little river looking thing. Hopefully I won't run straight face into a bommie, but we'll see. Awesome. Coolest thing yet. Huh. There were a bunch of sharks doing the same thing as me. Just following me down the current. Tons of parrot fish. Nothing too shallow. Nothing shallow enough to hit. That was awesome. check out one more spot in this anchorage. Um, it's closer to the big beach, kind of in front of me, over there. And I'm hoping, I don't know what I'm hoping, but I'm hoping it's cool. I'm checking out just one more spot before I leave this place. It's a lot calmer than the other one current-wise because there's a big rock that kind of blocks the ocean. This shallow uh, sea cucumber infested pool. Lava rock from Hawaii. This is cool. I'm gonna walk all the way to the ocean, maybe find some tide pools.
place is cool too. I'm just walking what's this pretty much gigantic tide pool right now, all the way up to the ocean. I couldn't do that at the last spot because it was too deep and there was too much current, but it's pretty cool. I think this is my favorite spot yet that I've anchored at in French Polynesia. I want to use this to catch something. This place just keeps getting better and better. There's this massive beach. No one on it, obviously. Just me. Um, just incredible. I've never seen anything like it. And there's no one here. No other boats, no other people. Don't know why. Don't care. <laughs> wow. Look at this. It's like, it tried to be some sort of raft at some point. It's tied together bamboo. I wonder where that came from. There's a lot of trash, which is a huge shame. It's like a big exhaust off a ship or something. That was a cool walk. <laughs> Just unbelievable, this place. Um, Hooligan, right over there somewhere. You can kind of see the mast, maybe. I'm gonna hop in this little channel entrance here, or this little river entrance, I guess, here, and drift down towards the dinghy and then head back to the boat. set my sunglasses down just to go swimming and all these crabs came and looked for the shade. That's pretty cool. hard coral but this place is actually sand and the bottom is perfectly clean as well.
back. I don't know yet, but uh, pretty rainy right now. There's a big squall overhead. You might be able to kind of see it. So I'm just kind of sitting inside and looking at my chart down here. This is how I navigate in these atolls. Um, it's quite accurate, I've found at least so far. Of course, it has its imperfections and it can mess up. So ideally, you want the sun to be high in the sky, but right now there's no sun, so that's the best I can do, is just looking at this. And only about two hours until I get to the next spot. It's looking cool so far. There's an island just right there with a little hut on it. I don't think there's anyone on it. And then another one just over there. I'm thinking once I anchor at the spot way down there, then I'll come here with a dinghy maybe, camp a night, who knows, but only about 30 minutes left until I anchor. There's starting to be a bunch of bombies around this area. Just gotta make sure to not hit them. It's really easy to see now because it's bright outside. Like, uh, there's one right there. You might be able to see it, that light patch kind of on the way to the island. should just all be clean sand here. All right, so I think I'm just gonna run aground and see what happens. It's obviously just sand, so it shouldn't matter. I'm just gonna slowly ease up here and see if it's deep enough to anchor or if I just hit. I actually have no idea which one that's gonna be. enough for hooligan, maybe. I don't really know. Who cares? Oh, just ran aground. <laughs> yep, yeah, I'm on. It's uh, looking like it's coming off, so that's good. First time I found a spot too shallow for hooligan. But it's okay. Anchor. Spent last night here at this new spot, far east corner of Rangaroa. It's definitely cool. There are a lot of bonefish around. I can see them swimming in the water. There's a big sand flat just kind of up there where I hit that looks like the Kanyohe sandbar, which is the first place I ever sailed this boat to. So that's kind of a cool memory. Um, water clarity is really murky though, so it's not a good place to swim. But I'm gonna. Ooh, shark right there. Gonna hop in the dinghy and check out those two islands that I was looking at when I was coming in. Got plenty of gas and bring some water, should be easy. But yeah, I'll go check those out and then come back and I'm gonna leave tomorrow morning, I think, because I'm out of food. <laughs>
a spot. Lots of birds everywhere. I'm gonna hop back in the dinghy and head to the next island over there. even cooler there's a little hut someone built huh truly in the middle of nowhere too Just insane. If someone would have told me I would be walking around a random island in a random atoll in the South Pacific four years ago, I probably wouldn't have believed him. But I'm not complaining, that's for sure. This island's awesome. We've got a little shaded hut to one side, lagoon view to the other. I'm on my way to the islands right now. The sun's in a pretty bad angle, so I can't can't see directly at the island. Uh, I gotta point that way and that way so that if there is a big coral head or anything, I won't hit it because I would genuinely have no way to get back if that happened. I brought the tent, brought some food, the absolute last of the food, and I'll uh, take off tomorrow morning for the main village, I think. But yeah, for tonight, I'll just be chilling out on this little, little deserted island. I actually came back to the little hut island with my camping stuff, so I'm thinking I'm gonna set up my tent right there before it gets dark, because the mosquitoes should probably start showing up around that time as well. And then maybe go for a snorkel. I even brought my last food, which is three eggs, a carrot, and a pre-baked potato. GoPro just broke, but don't know why. Eggs were good. Potato time. All right, I'm back in the boat now. Um, GoPros have an issue, so I'm filming on my phone, but that's gonna be it for this little entry. Uh, today, I'm gonna be adding back to the main village of Rangaroa. I'm uh, completely out of food, so that's great, but it's okay. It's just six hours there or something, and then I think I'm gonna head to Tahiti. See you next time.